A queue is a linear data structure in which elements can only be inserted from the rear end of the queue and elements can only be deleted from the front end of the queue. Now a queue can be implemented by using an array or a linked list and this tutorial is about implementing queue using an array. Now when you implement queue using an array, first you need to declare an array. So here I have declared an array whose name is Q and suppose the size of this array is 5. The value of this max is 5 so the size of this array becomes 5. Now to implement Q using an array we need to make this array named Q behave like a Q and we can do that by following some property of a queue and the property of a queue is that elements can only be inserted from the rear end of the queue and elements can only be deleted from the front end of the queue now initially when the queue is empty as you can see in this case the queue contains no elements then the value of rear is equal to minus one and the value of front is also equal to minus 1 and when the queue is empty it is also known as queue underflow condition when the queue is empty it is also known as queue underflow and just remember when the value of front is equal to minus 1 then it means that the queue is empty when the value of front is equal to minus 1 it means queue is empty now when an element is inserted into the queue then the value of rare is incremented by 1 so rare equals to rare plus 1 now the value of rare at this point is minus 1 so minus 1 plus 1 equals to 0 so rear becomes equal to 0 I am using R for rear and the new element is inserted at this position which is 0 so Now the value of rear at this point is 0. First this statement is executed, then this statement is executed. The value of rear is 0 and element is just a variable. Now suppose the value of this variable element is 10. So 10 gets inserted at this position which is 0. First time when an element is inserted into the queue, then from minus 1 the value of front becomes equal to 0 this only happens during the first insertion when first time an element is inserted into the queue now in this case 10 was the first element to be inserted into this queue this was the first insertion and during the first insertion the value of front will always be minus 1 so from minus 1 the value of front becomes 0 so in other words when the value of front is equal to minus 1 and then if we insert a new element into the queue then from minus 1 the value of front becomes equal to 0 now I am going to insert another element into this queue so again the value of rare will be incremented by 1 the value of rare at this point is 0 so 0 plus 1 equals to 1 so now the value of rare becomes equal to 1 and the new element will be inserted at this position which is 1 suppose 
the value of this variable element is 100 so 100 will get inserted at this position which is 1 the value of rare at this point is 1 so 100 gets inserted here now again I want to insert another element into this queue so again the value of rare will be incremented by 1 the value of rare at this point is 1 so 1 plus 1 equals to 2 rare becomes equal to 2 and the new element will be inserted at this position suppose the value of this variable element is 200 so 200 gets inserted at this position which is 2 now when an element is deleted from the queue then the value of front is incremented by 1 so front equals to front plus 1 now let's say I want to delete an element from this queue so the value of front will be incremented by 1 the value of front at this point is 0 so 0 plus 1 equals to 1 now the value of front becomes equal to 1 so this element gets deleted now I want to delete another element from this queue then again the value of front will be incremented by 1 the value of front at this point is 1 so 1 plus 1 equals to 2 now front becomes equal to 2 and this element gets deleted so this is how elements are deleted from the queue now if I delete another element from this queue then this 200 will get deleted and this queue will become empty so let's see the value of front at this point is 2 so 2 plus 1 equals to 3 so now front becomes equal to 3 and this 200 gets deleted now you can see that this queue contains no elements so this queue is empty and when the queue is empty it is also known as queue underflow now there are two situations in which a queue can be empty situation one when the value of front is equal to minus one then that means the queue is empty and situation two is this one when the value of front is one more than the value of rare so when front is equal to rare plus 1 then that means the queue is empty in this case the value of front is 3 and the value of rare is 2 so 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 so when front equal to rare plus 1 then that also means Q is empty now in our program we can check whether the queue is empty or not by using this if statement if front equal to equal to minus 1 or front equal to equal to rare plus 1 this is an or operator so if either one of these two conditions become true then that would mean that the queue is empty now I want to insert an element into this queue I've already told you that when an element is inserted into the queue first the value of rare is incremented by 1 and the value of rare at this point is 2 so 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 so rare becomes equal to 3 and the new element will be inserted at this position which is 3 so suppose 
the value of this variable element is 50 so 50 will get inserted at this position which is 3 now I am going to insert another element into this queue so again the value of rare will be incremented by 1 the value of rare is 3 so 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 rare becomes 4 suppose the value of this variable element is 150 value of rare is 4 so 150 will get inserted at this position which is 4 so by now you must have observed that how elements in the queue are always inserted from the rear and they are always deleted from the front now the value of rear is equal to 4 rear is at the last position of this queue now you can't insert any new elements into this queue this queue is full even though these 0 1 and 2 positions are empty but you simply can't insert elements at these positions because in a queue elements are always inserted from the rear so now this queue is full rear is at the last position of the queue now when the queue is full it is also known as queue overflow and in the program we can check whether the queue is full or not using this if statement if rare equal to equal to max minus 1 then that means queue is full now the value of rare at this point is 4 and max minus 1 is also equal to 4 because value of max here is 5 so 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 so this condition becomes true this if statement will check is the value of rare equal to the value of max minus 1 and in this case clearly value of rare is equal to the value of max minus 1 both are 4 in this case now suppose value of rare was equal to 3 and now let's check this if statement value of rare is 3 and the value of max minus 1 is 5 minus 1 equals to 4 so this condition becomes false so this means that the queue is not full so with this if statement we can check whether the queue is full or not now you can't insert any new elements into this queue but you can delete elements from this queue so let's delete these two elements from the queue I've already told you that when an element is deleted from the queue the value of front is incremented by 1 the value of front at this point is 3 so 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 front becomes equal to 4 and this element gets deleted now let's delete this element also the value of front is 4 so 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 front becomes equal to 5 and this element gets deleted so this is very much how a queue works how elements are inserted into and deleted from a queue how we check for overflow and underflow condition in a queue and all these things are going to help you create a program on queues and I'll be creating a program on queues in my next video